All right, welcome back to the channel. Pablo here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why cybersecurity certificates are not always as good as most people think. Have you ever wondered what life looks like through the eyes of a computer hacker? Have you ever wanted to learn the skill sets to hack just about anything? My name is Pablo and I've acquired these skills. As an ethical hacker, I hack just about anything I can find. Allow me to take you on a journey through the world of cybersecurity to teach you everything it takes to become a successful computer hacker. Ready? Let's go! Now, you want to get into cybersecurity, right? So first thing you do is you go ahead and you get Kali Linux and you go ahead and install it on a virtual box. The next thing most people do is they go ahead and find out a list of all the certificates they need in order to get a good job in the infosec industry. Now, this approach is not the best and let me tell you why. So the first reason is that having a certificate does not always mean that you have the knowledge it takes in order to be good at your job. And a lot of the employers know this, like I myself, I run a cybersecurity company and I see these people every day. They come in and they show me, oh yeah, I am CH certified, I am OSCP certified, I am uh, SEC plus certified. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's great. But can you do this theoretical test? Or I give them some practical tests in a test lab, but most of the people cannot do it because they are focusing solely on having the knowledge it takes to do the certification. They go ahead and they do the exam and then afterwards they forget everything about it. So that means that they have the certificate on paper, but they do not have the knowledge it takes in order to do the job. Then the second reason is that a lot of these certificates are actually focused on very specific theoretical parts. So they have their test labs, of course, where you can practice, but they have their course material and that's about it. So you don't have the actual practical knowledge that it takes in order to do a real cybersecurity assessment. Because most of the cybersecurity assessments are a mixture of everything. They have a little bit of web hacking, they have a little bit of uh, network hacking, they have a little bit of social engineering, they maybe have a little bit of malware analysis, they have the whole pack, right? But with these certifications, everything is so specific that you are not able to do a complete assessment on your own. And now the third and last reason is that a lot of these certificates are actually being sold on the internet. Just yesterday I was scrolling on a Facebook group that was cybersecurity related and I saw a guy posting a post there inviting people to a WhatsApp group. Now if you would go to that WhatsApp group it was basically him selling certifications. I think he had around 17 to 18 different kind of cybersecurity certifications that he was selling. So you basically pay this guy X amount of money and he would do the certification for you. So this means that you have a legitimate certificate on your name, just you didn't have to go to the study material and you didn't have to go through the exam. So this means again that you do not have the knowledge that it takes even though that you have the certificate. And this highly decreases the value of your certificate. Now you may be thinking, okay Pablo, this is all nice and well, but what do I do instead? And don't get me wrong, if you're one of these people that actually has a certification, then kudos to you because this is going to help you in your career. The only problem is with people that are hoarding them. The problem is that if people are going ahead and trying to get one more certificate before they can get the job, that's a problem. Whereas if you already have a job in cybersecurity, and you have the certificate, then you can easily go and rank up. So here's what I suggest. I suggest you learn a little bit of the basics of everything. You learn a bit of the basics of web hacking, network hacking, social engineering, all that good stuff. And then you go ahead and apply for an entry level cybersecurity job. Either that or a high level IT job where you are a little bit more focused on the security side of things. Now, while money is coming in, you can actually save up to get your certification in order to increase your portfolio. Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually go ahead and apply for a junior level cybersecurity job. And a lot of the employers actually have these programs where they would put you in a certification course and you would do the certification on the expense of your employer. Or what they also do is they give you a certain budget that you can spend freely on education. And then you can actually spend it on getting uh, an exam voucher and the course material 
for any kind of certification that you want and you would basically have your certification entirely for free. Now the question is of course, how do I get an entry level cybersecurity job? Now this is something that I help people with on my website. If you go to that website, you can actually go ahead and apply for a free consultation call with either me or one of my experts and they will help you with a step-by-step -step process for your specific situation. So we will help you out to get from where you are right now to getting a nice career in cybersecurity. Now going on the consultation call is basically a no-brainer because it's entirely for free. We do not charge anything. We will only charge you if we would go ahead and work together long term. But before that, everything is entirely free. So if this is something for you, then go ahead and click the description below. There's a link that will take you to my website where there's some more information about this. Now all there's left for me to say is to go ahead and click the like button on this video so more people can actually see this. And if you want more of these videos or you want to see more hacking tutorials, which I'm going to be posting in the future, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button, click the little bell sign symbol on the right of it so that you actually get notified whenever I put up a new video. Now, this was it for me. I'll see you in the next video.